Hello everyone and welcome back to World Box. Today we're gonna do something a bit different than we did last time, obviously. But first we have to get rid of all of this. And what better way to do that than with antimatter bombs? And now that we have a blank slate, I thought, you know, let's make World Box generate some islands for us. And by generate some islands for us, I don't mean the thing where you go and make a new world and generate your own islands or whatever. What I'm going to do is go to my other powers I think it's in. No, it's not. It might be in the creatures and animals. Well, this are, these are god fingers. And what they do is they just, they go around and they just make land. So... I'm gonna make a few of those. There we go. We're gonna let them make our world look like a Jackson Pollock painting. And as they do that, um, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna let them go. And after it's done, I'll take the vortex tool and I'll just mix it up a bit. And they're going to create our land for us. I'm gonna put a few others in here too. All right, I think we're done now. No, so who said too many hands spoil the pot? I think this looks amazing. We're gonna take this and kill all of our god hands with it as well. We're gonna mix this up real nice. Okay, now that's all mixed up, the only thing that I don't like is we don't really have enough forest because we're gonna be putting some civilizations down. And they're gonna need they're gonna need some sort of forested areas. So I'm gonna put down some of this. And those will be our forested areas, and then we'll take the vortex again and we'll we'll mix it up again. Alright, I think that looks beautiful. So we're gonna make it rain over here as well. All right, now we have a wonderful, lovely island place thing. And we can start putting stuff down. Let's put down some resources. All right, now that's all done. I think our world looks pretty and beautiful and all of that. We've got our shenanigans made by the god hands and i put down three forests and we've got all our shenanigans done so now we get to populate our world okay let's put 15 humans there and i'll put some orcs down here we'll put some more humans down here all right and now we've got our little villages. I'm gonna wait for them to get a little bigger first, so that way we can uh, start doing things without, you know, destroying absolutely everything. All right, I just came back to look at things, and it seems that uh, Itato has taken control of Igua. That's interesting. So both the all of the humans are unified currently. So that's pretty fun. And the orcs haven't done a lot of growing, but I think it's I've. You know what, I'm a little impatient. I think it's about time to start screwing with things. And uh, what to do first? Probably put something down here. Demons? Let's see how they, let's see how the humans fare against one demon to start. All right, that was pretty quick work. Uh, they did decently. Let's put several more down. All right, now we've got five demons. <laughs> we'll see how well they We'll see how well they do against that. And I have a feeling that I maybe shouldn't have done that. That was a little too destructive. Uh, yeah, that was a little, that was a little too destructive, I think. But you know what? That's their own fault for not surviving, honestly. I don't know what this guy's doing. They're just going around. They're going to burn all these forests, I guess. 
Uh, we'll go screw with the orcs too a little bit. I'll put one okay, demon here, see how long he lasts. Okay. Let's just put three demons down now. I wanted to try out tornadoes because I didn't try them last time. I just kind of want to see what they do. Oh, that's fun. Oh, it goes pretty far. I'm also at five times speed. That's probably why it's going so far and fast like that. There we go. And right, I'm going to put some more tornadoes in. Just so they can uh, do their thing and have some fun. I'm going to go look down in Igua real quick. Look at them all. They've got their... Uh... <laughs> well, I have a feeling that killed a few people. Oh dear, what happened over here? I guess not all the fire stopped. That's kind of ridiculous. And a tornado just ripped through Igua and took all of their poor farmland with them. Let's see what earthquakes do. Um, this seems like a decently sized city. Ah, interesting. It seems as though it makes the place uninhabitable and does quite a bit of damage. Well, now we just have a mountain range over here. This tornado is just deciding to be really slow, just sitting right on top of Igua. Lava clouds seem fun. Let's see what they do. I'll put one up here and just see how it goes. All right, if they survive, then they're blessed. If they do not survive, they were never meant to survive in the first place. I expected a lot more orcs to die there, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, this is fun. The humans are having a little spat with the orcs over here. And the lava has come to play. The lava cloud, right on cue, has come and decided to fight for itself as well. They seem to be having quite a fun time. I think that lava cloud completely destroyed what settlement was over there. Uh, I think I want to make some islands, but I don't want to make islands in like the normal way. What I want to do is I want to make them with meteors. Let's see. Right, Igua is now on an island, and because they survived that, they get my blessings of rain. I'm gonna do that again over here. Right, now we split up basically everyone. I'm gonna put a little more rain up here because it looks like they probably need it. And along the coasts. That looks, that looks decent, I think. I have so little survivors from all of this, I have no idea why. But I think what I'm going to do is play with some lightning or a heat ray. I wonder what this does. Oh, that's what that does. Well, I guess we just don't have any more humans. Whatever the humans were is now just a steaming pile of lava. <laughs> just fine, honestly. All right. There's one person over here I want to make him dance. Oh, that one was too close. He's dead. All right, we only have one civilization left, the Zadoras. I think... Hold on, what do bowling balls do? Oh, they just have some fun. I wonder how much damage that will do over here. Well, it didn't do an incredible amount of damage. Oh, this guy survived? How did he survive? Where even is he? There he is. Oh. Well, bye. I'm gonna just let a bunch of tornadoes loose over here. They'll reach over here eventually. And let's see who can kill these guys first, the tornadoes or me. I'm gonna just start just a small wildfire over here. And we can see if those tornadoes or the fire catches them first. 
Well, that tornado just went through and actually saved them from the wildfire. Because they survive so well, they get some metal. Oh, it's our Bomba. Oh, that was bigger than I thought it would be. That also somehow didn't actually get the orcs in that blast. I'm not sure how. Just explosions all around and these orcs just have to witness their world fall into dust. What does a regular bomb do? Oh, it's just, it's just a little bit of fun. I would not want to live in this town, honestly. Right, well. Hello everyone, thanks a lot for watching my video. If you'd like to see more videos like this one or want to see what other games that I'll play in the future, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. If you have any suggestions or just want to leave a comment for the sake of leaving a comment, then feel free to use the comment section. Again, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you later.